Hello guys, and it's Klask is here. I know I haven't actually put out a lot of content lately. I do apologize for that. But you know, I woke up today and this is what I see seven hours ago. Patch notes 5.7 have come to us with the nerfs. And today I'll be talking about them because well, I do want to go over them, give my opinions and maybe, you know, some things that got addressed, some things that are still missing and how it will affect, you know, the pro scene and other stuff like that. Um, we can quickly go over through this. Um, what is this? Just general community bug fixes. I guess that's good. Lobby improvements. Um, this is all on HD, so lobby improvements. I'm happy about this, but I'm not really going to go uh, that much in depth with this. Um, what we are going to look at is going to be this and well let's get into it so first one we have Kondo now have a unique armor class I think this is actually pretty good because again they just replaced champions way too easily it was way too broken and I think that this unique armor class is completely fine and was necessary we're gonna have to see how they perform now I mean on paper they should perform obviously a little bit you know different slash maybe worse but it still could be something to look at. Minus one pierce armor from 1 to 0 and minus one attack. I don't really understand why these two were made. I still think that the main issue with them was that you can just spam at them way too fast. And I still don't see the nerf that basically everyone suggested and I totally agree. To just put like an upgrade that you know takes like 40-50 seconds, even maybe up to a minute. And you know, make it cost like 600 food, seven, like you know, 600 gold, something among that. Like together, food, gold cost something near a thousand. That would be very good, I think. It would just make like an instant champion. And I don't really see why this was done because they only have one Pierce armor. It's not the end of the world. They still get shredded by Mass Arbalest or any cavalry archers. Um, obviously, like they could outrun, but that was numbers issue not unit being too strong issue uh, minus one I, 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 I kind of think the attack is okay but the pierce armor definitely will hurt him a lot like arbalist in the italian war even will be a lot lot better now because the the condo won't be such a strong counter so i'm not really like in mirror matchups that might be a little bit of a problem but again the pierce armor i kind of would want to see this replaced by an upgrade cost Elite Battle Elephant cost increased from 800 food, 500 gold to 1.2k, 900. I think this is fine. Um, I also think this is completely fine because they were a very, very strong unit. The 30% cheaper. I think it's okay. Malay needs some kind of variety, but I don't, I don't even think this is the way to go. I would probably leave it on 25% and just give up uh, the second night upgrade. Just, It's just insane to play them in a team game. I, I, I don't understand why, it's just insane, right? Like, Malay post-imperial is already disgusting to have two mediocre options, to say the least. And honestly, the second upgrade would still make him die to like something like Mass Halbs or Mass Arbalist or whatnot. So I really don't understand why. Not just leave it on 25%, give him the second armor upgrade and, you know, make it work. But, um, I, like, this is still nice buff, I, I'd say. Um, so the question is, is this too little or too much? I mean, it's definitely not too little. I do like it, you know, one or a second. Why not? Because you can already, like, start spamming battle offense and castellators. They're already strong. And then you get, like, the instant elite. And, well, it's still cheaper than Paladin plus Cavalier together. So that's still very good. Maybe even... I, I think it's fine for now. I think that maybe... You would want to give it a little bit bigger, but I think it's okay. It's like still, you know, 2,000 resources. So I think it's, this is really, really a nice nerf. I, th I think it will just uh, help out in team, ga team games a lot. Elite Karambit minus one attack. This is not the way to ner nerf Karambits. I don't know why this actually happened, but this is not the way to nerf them. Because the thing is that, I mean, people said that you need to ner nerf the attack and so on, but... You again have to look at the whole civilization, how it plays out. Like melee do have kind of one of the most awkward post-imperial game. And in high elo, if we're talking about high elo, which is kind of what matters, 
the elite karambits will get neglected in most cases anyway just because of walls and you know stuff like that so i really do not see how this actually helps against that i think that you know either making them uh, either making them cost like you know five more food ten more food or five and five more gold or you know th thinking about doing it 0 0.75 pop or you know so like just nerfing the creation speed even that would also work but uh, just nerfing the stats that that's not gonna work because you need the unit to be able to do something right because that's the main unit Moe is gonna be making nine eight out of ten times elite battle of and blast radius this should have been nerfed more i think i i think that minus zero points would have been even better because um, again they just shred you know infantry way too much like if you don't have anti-cavalry unit you're basically dead like against paladins you can still you know force some kind of a kind of a fight with infantry and other cavalry but if you don't have anti-elephant units you're just straight up gg elite cam archer minus 5 hp i think that everybody expected this to come out minus 2 armor i think that's okay i think this is also fine this is also fine I think this could have been minus one because um, like you, you, you kind of uh, have to think about it like this wait this, this means they do one attack right or am I losing my mind yeah like if like they should have uh, left so cam archers do two damage right so let's say you have a ram and you basically need like to two shot it to like 100 cam archers I, I think that like there's no point making it zero so they do one damage because Cam Archers still get completely shredded by Mass Rams. Ethiopians lose the free Alpidir upgrade. Um, totally expected. Totally needed. Ethiopian is freaking crazy. What else they could do is... They could... I mean, the civilization is obviously very nice. But what they could do is... They could kind of try to neglect their early feudal. Maybe change the... Food, up, uh, food upgrade so it like scales with age so like 50 50 100 150 50 uh, uh, 150 150 I actually saw somebody suggest that some time ago uh, like long long time ago on a post and actually I think that was that would be very nice because it will still give a nice edge on the feudal age like 100 resources that's a lot in feudal age and it would also make it a little bit more uh, I'll, not more a little bit better in cast in uh, imperial castle age but if they do that i really do think in imperial age you need to like even spike it up to like 200 200 so feudal age would be 50 50 castle age 100 100 is fine and then in imperial age give it like 200 200 even so it, it like gets a little bit of a spike because otherwise the, in the imperial age 200 resources that's so useless like unless you're doing one tc fast imp with 20 villagers that really doesn't matter so i think that's kind of something to look at as well um oh this is the Burmese upgrade right uh, i still don't understand why this doesn't cost food and gold like how do upgrades like these cost wood why this doesn't make any sense that, this just makes no sense at all uh the nerf is fine though i think it's okay they're just trying to balance out battle elephants i think that's okay you need to find a sweet spot between them um bomber cat bomber cat hours i don't know how this is gonna work can't really talk about that can't talk about this as well because like they get used so rarely we don't even know the statistics on this like how it will spread damage and effect but i don't really don't think this will matter i still think oregon gun is never going to be used portuguese just in general feels like a pretty shitty civilization uh, only re only reason they excel in some areas is if you run out of gold they will not and then you can win we turn by minus 0 0.05 speed. I assume that's movement speed, right? Yeah, minus one attack. What? I, <laughs> this is not gonna change anything. Hello? Minus two armor versus anti cavalry archer attacks. I guess that's okay. Still don't see how that's fixing the problem. The speed is okay, I guess. The attack doesn't matter. I mean, this is gonna help against some kind of anti scrims i guess but still okay this is very nice hopefully they're broken now uh what is treacherous shit i don't know what that is fuck me um hello 
Okay, I'll check it afterwards. <laughs> um, Eagle Warrior training time plus 3 seconds. I guess everybody was asking for this. I think it's okay. Uh, also, this is very good. This this is straight buff to crossbow at knights versus them. Um, I still don't see a, uh, see how knights are going to counter them properly because of this. It's still going to be a struggle because you just straight up take a fight. The speed will like you know it will be like a buff to crossbow and a little buff to knife, but um, the little buff to knights versus eagles will be almost meaningless unless you're just running away. So. I guess they should have like just gave knights plus one bonus attack against eagles or plus two or some, something like that. Or just like make eagles uh, remove the eagle bonus versus knights in castle age. Like weave it in imperial and remove it in castle age. Because we saw in KOTD it's just all eagles man, it's crazy. So anti camo bonus increase for all anti cavalry units except camos. Wait what? Anti camo bonus increase. Except camels. Oh, that's the now it was free goal. I think this is this was definitely needed. It was way too broken. Uh, oh, so I guess Halberd is now a bonus. Do we have numbers on that? Okay, let, let me check it out. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Cardography now automatically researches. I guess that's fine. I mean, that was just very annoying. Okay, here's the amount. Spearman now do plus 12 damage. Okay, Pikeman 18. Halberd... 20s? What? What? No! What the fuck? Not 26? What? Hello? Wh why that much? It should have been like 22. Even 22 is already... Like, just... Ew, that's already obnoxious. What? Not... They basically gave him plus no no okay, Real, I mean it was nice knowing you Indians. You, you you had a good run. You had arbalest. You had camels. Now you don't have arbalest, and now your camels can be useless. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Plus one damage against camels. Uh, I understand the elite. Why does Eagle Warrior get that? That's stupid. Um, no. Genesis crossbow should every single cavalry that should never happen. Um, elite cameo. I can't really comment that. Vikings now makes it for do plus four damage. I don't think this was ever needed. Basically, it yeah. Well, that was kind of it, I guess. So. Yeah, I mean, that was my opinion on it. There's still some things that have to be changed and some things that I really don't understand. Um, because, first of all, like, the camel nerf is a little bit weird. I understand they give, you know, Eagle Warrior, okay, the uh, Elite Eagle Warrior give a bonus, that's nice, you know, you can not die to Indian Camel, nice, I guess, whatever. But why buff the Eagle Warrior against Camel? Why buff the Albert there 26 instead of, like, 23? That I don't understand. 23, 22 already would have been enough. Because, like, camel are not as effective on raiding as paladins are. So the re um, the immediate threat on camel is not as huge as it is on a paladin, and that's what you need to understand. So the need for halberdiers to counter is not as huge, right? So it's like, why make them completely, completely shit on camels? I don't understand. Also, you know, the condo thing is a little bit weird. The camo archer I do like a lot. Um, already, so, I mean, I guess I commented on everything. A uh, few things we have to look at is this, but I, I think that this will just come in practice when somebody makes them. Or if somebody does the math, like Spirit of the Wall or whatnot, because I really don't, like, you, you have to test it out how it looks. And I'm a little bit too lazy to do that. I still don't understand what is Chatras, but I'll check it out later and maybe post a comment or whatnot. So yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys. You know, it was a pretty interesting patch. I do like running these up and giving my opinions on them. But, you know, let's see how it works in practice. We just have to see. I mean, obviously, like, most of these are, like, very, very good nerfs. And even maybe they're not in the right direction. But they're still going to nerf the Civ. So it really depends on... Are the nerves going to be enough and we don't need to nerf, you know, the right way? Or are we going to just straight up see 
you know, some other balance changes come out soon enough. Well, we're gonna have to see. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and see you next time.